Okay, so I've got everything in here. I'll just give you a brief once over of everything I've got. I've got all the charge pipes, the water lines, the vacuum lines, the oil lines, um, exhaust manifold, turbo, and the two heat range colder spark plugs. You are going to need the map sensor out of a um, turbo car, out of the rally art in order for your car to work because your car is now naturally aspirated which means there's a vacuum inside of the intake manifold now once you boost it you'll have pressure inside the intake manifold so if you try to turbo your car without doing the ECU upgrade and changing out the map sensor I doubt that it would even run or if it does run it probably would have no extra power whatsoever so now, the next step in the process is um, I'm going to send this ECU out that came with my kit and I have to send them my VIN number and they unlock the VIN number, unlock the ECU and program it to my VIN. The other way you can do this is if you're going to turbo your factory car, factory naturally aspirated Lancer, then you will send in your ECU and tell them that you want to do a turbo upgrade. Again, the name of the website is Riley Inspired Performance, and you're going to open up a support ticket for programming. It costs $80 plus $15 for shipping, and then um, that's it. So I've got the um, fuel pump and the injectors off the rally art as well. Um, I got a couple extra things with it too, the boost controller and a gauge, and um, I think that's about it. So. I will update you guys next time uh, whenever I get some more, whenever I get the ECU back and I start on it, I will make another video. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting on the ECU, I'll probably go ahead and do the fuel pump injectors and oil pan just to go ahead and knock that out and get it out of the way. And then after that, I will tear the car apart and begin the turbo install. Also, you are going to need to uh, relocate your battery to the trunk. Now you don't have to do this, but it's going to help you tremendously. I will show you the, how to do that and how to make those connections properly. And uh, that's all for now. And uh, be next one will be in a couple weeks or so, I guess. Thanks for watching.